What has become so clear as we monitor these events from state to state is that in this primary, voters are given the appearance of having a voice and a hand in the process when clearly they do not. And I'm telling you, if they had to shut down the system completely, issue an executive order, a PDD, declare martial law, name it, they do whatever. Because no one and nobody is getting in the way of this rigged system. There's no difference between Democrat and Republican at the POTUS or presidential level. So therefore, if no one, Democrat or Republican, would be allowed anywhere near the White House who pledged to destroy the status quo system, then that means it's rigged. The outpour that you see in the rallies, the support that you see among the youth vote is not translating at the polls. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to read all the stories about how they count the votes, too, to be fair, because there's, there's a lot of things going on. We can put 4,000 people yeah. in a precinct and come up with 2,000 votes. Uh, they've been putting out phony polls one after another to try to make uh, establishment hacks so like Romney or Gingrich the, uh, the, and the, the look like you have to understand runner. something. The Iowa caucus, the, excuse me, the state Iowa GOP has a long history of rigging not only the Iowa caucus but also the Iowa straw poll. Take it from someone from South Carolina who doesn't just get on here and say this stuff lightly. I know people, I know whole churches that voted for Ron Paul, and everyone here is scratching their heads going, hey, we all voted for Ron Paul. We don't know how he didn't win this precinct. It's basically fraud, I guess, on the first part, letting the other guy go in as me and, and vote him. Mitt Romney, on record, paid people to come to Tommy's Country Ham House in Greenville People drove in on buses from BYU, and one of the students said that the Romney campaign was going to reimburse them. They paid people to stand out on the road like Ron Paul supporters and hold signs. And we go over to CNN, and here's where the shenanigans start, and it's very obvious. Washoe County, 3% reporting, that's 5% reporting less than anywhere else, and we already have Mitt Romney at 1,500 votes. I'm convinced now that you can't vote them out. The elections are fixed. Even though Rick Santorum came in first and Ron Paul second in the North Dakota caucus, Mitt Romney actually won the state. But did that win come through the railroading of the system? A total of 138 votes were cast. In the official main GOP tallies, however, the results from all but one of those communities, all but one, were given as a series of zeros below the name of each candidate, meaning the official tally shows that no one voted. The system should be much more clear. Unfortunately, how those delegates in North Dakota were selected was anything but fair. The state instructed the chairman to not read any of the votes allowed. He wanted a vote fraud system to be built. He wanted a program that could flip the votes without anyone seeing it. Moving on to Nevada. Paul Camp cries fraud over Nevada caucus results. And this is from the examiner.com. A young guy named Edward True attended that caucus and he found that Mitt Romney was given 20 more votes than he actually received. There's no doubt that there's election fraud going on in this country. Votes were being counted. Uh, a strange thing happened. The lights turned off. when Not when the votes were being counted, but when they were being collected, the lights turned off. Oh, First, the lights turned off. On every occasion, the votes uh, that were lost were Ron Paul votes. Look, look in the official Republican Party's results list. Zero votes. <laughs> any, any other comments? <laughs> Two election supervisors take action tonight after an NBC2 investigation uncovers flawed record keeping and human error allowing people who are not citizens of the United States to vote. Then there are a lot of precincts, a bunch of precincts at least, where there are disputes. There were more ballots cast than there were people signed up for that precinct. The original article dated Thursday. February 2nd, 2012, at 8.40 p.m. on Thursday, February 2nd, 2012, days before the election. Oh, my God, you guys. Mitt Romney did not win Belfast. Ron Paul won Belfast. Sometimes we get thousands of people like this, and we'll take them to the polling booth, and we won't win the, win the caucus. 
So, um, you know, a lot of our supporters are very suspicious uh, about it. But um, the straw votes have been very confusing. I mean, you probably read the paper about what happened up in Maine. I mean, and I'm fine if you don't vote for my amendment. I just feel like this has been un American, un Prior to voting on the slate, we should have known who was on the slate and which candidate each member of the slate supported. Because but the state Republican Party planned to give Belfast to Mitt Romney anyway. When Belfast complained about that, the Belfast chairman was told by the state party, quote, oh, I'll be sure those numbers are changed. So did the final tally from Belfast, Maine show Ron Paul winning Belfast, which in fact Belfast says is what happened? No, the numbers did not say that. Here's what they showed. Zero. Even though Governor Romney was already declared the winner, the numbers that the state GOP in Maine are reporting are, according to caucus chairman, incorrect. Ah, hey, you can't do that! The camera thing was... elect these delegates to the state convention. We're asking you to vote for these people. There are Romney people, Gingrich people, and Santorum people on the list. How were they chosen? They were chosen based on, we talked to each campaign, we talked to local Republicans who knew them, and we got advice from them. And I'm asking you, on behalf of the Romney campaign, to vote for it. It is in, it is in the interest of the state convention. Immediately, I began calling for division. Hundreds of other people started calling for division, which means count the vote. Um, that can't, again, you don't have to have the floor, you don't have to have a second, and it must be um, uh, acted on. And uh, demands for a count of the vote were ignored. Some candidate supporters are attempting to change the rules of the caucuses in order to manipulate the delegate process. What's your plan for tonight? Tell the truth. I've been in politics for 35 years. My cause has been the cause of liberty. 